speed run no no speed run serious because people love people love talking about the meta people love talking about the meta so we're gonna do it all right this is gonna be a serious ranking of my predictions for classes that we'll see in mythic plus in 9.1 now let me clarify this is for high keys right this is this is let, let's just actually go through each tier right this is what i consider each tier okay s tier is going to be you need this spec to do high keys if you don't have this spec you're trolling a tier is going to be this spec is really good and you definitely see it in high keys however it's not 100 percent mandatory b tier is going to be it's an okay spec and players who are good at the class you'll see them it may be niche you know maybe it's good for certain affixes certain dungeons but it's not necessarily like something you see in a lot of a lot of groups c tier is going to be a spec that's let's let's call it viable you know you can succeed with it and do high keys it's not like it's impossible however you know only the really best of the best specs you know or players of that spec are going to be present in for these classes the d tier is going to be your trolling this these classes will not be capable of doing what 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 is it can we go down why the d tier just rose to the top wait what is happening hello down 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 so there's just a cog wheel on the d tier now Hold on can we refresh okay good perfect i fixed it i fixed it all right and the f tier now the f tier is going to be a little bit different i don't want people to get mauled over the f tier the f tier is very unique i already said the d tier are specs that are bad because no like they the, you just won't be able to do high keys with them okay the f tier is like a little bit separate and the f tier is going to be classes that i have no idea i have no idea if this class is good or bad because no one plays it and i haven't i haven't played with anyone that plays this spec since like the beginning of the expansion so this isn't me ruling these classes out or saying they're worse than d tier this is just me saying i have no idea if this spec is is like good or bad like maybe it does own i just don't know because no one plays these in high keys or maybe one guy or whatever so i think it would make the most sense to fill out the f tier first can we change it okay let's all right yeah yeah question mark okay i like that suggestion question mark okay so let's fill out the f tier first these are specs that i i literally have never done a high key with and i have no idea if they're good i never play ptr with them i never play beta with them like maybe a little bit of beta but like no one knows okay It's going to be a bunch of random melee classes. I'm looking at it now. It's going to be a bunch of random melee classes. So Enhanced Shaman definitely goes in the question mark tier. Absolutely nobody plays this class. Survival Hunter also goes in the question mark tier. Absolutely nobody plays this class. Red Paladin we're also putting in the question mark tier. What other what other classes does nobody play? Year of the Spear. Look guys, if it's Year of the Spear, maybe they'll come, maybe they'll come out of the they'll ride in like the riders of Rohan to save Helm's Deep, all of the survival hunters and they'll like hook shot in or whatever. I don't even know what survival hunters do. Whatever they'll ride in and do whatever they do, but I I haven't seen them yet. I haven't seen them yet let's put i'm gonna put feral druid in the question mark tier as well let's be honest i, I played all right i i played with hippo i played with hippo i can't put i can't put feral druid in the question mark tier what other spec we might we might revisit this we might revisit this we might revisit this later but we'll start here let's start with healers now this i'm gonna summarize this list by saying this is the copium tier list this is, I have very optimistic views of the meta in 9-1.
so that being said holy paladin i'm gonna put in the eights here holy paladin i think will be good but i don't think holy paladin will be necessary for high keys based off of what i've seen so far of their damage their damage is good however they're it's just not that good right like i think multiple classes can compete with holy paladin and do the same amount of damage that holy paladins can and i think that we're gonna see some of the best like the reason that holy paladin was s tier last expansion is because literally everyone re-rolled right mode mode re-rolled from Dispriest, j.b re-rolled from resto druid thaner re-rolled from resto shaman right no one no one even knew what any of these other healers could do now i think we're gonna see all those guys go back to their main healers and i think we'll be able to see them compete for longer and I think there's going to be a lot of healers that will be able to compete with Holy Paladin and Keys for damage. But not Miss Weaver. I think Miss Weaver is actually kind of slept on. I think a lot of people have a really bad impression of Miss Weaver right now. It's actually really, really good. It's actually really, really good. I've played it some, and it doesn't have that good of gear. And it still does okay damage. I think for pugs, honestly, I think you would probably be better off with a Mistweaver in a lot of situations than a Holy Paladin. Because here's the thing. Their general healing rotation is, like, similar. They just, like, punch mobs in the head with a hammer or kick them in the head and then they heal. But the issue is when a Holy Paladin is in trouble, when they can't be in melee or they don't have cooldowns, Holy Paladin can't heal anything or they can heal very little. And it requires very precise use of their middling cooldowns, like lay on hands, bubble, all that stuff, right? Miss Weaver, if Miss Weaver can't get in melee or can't fist weave, you can still juice people up big. You can do big juicing as Miss Weaver. Granted, if you're only doing big juicing as Miss Weaver, you're going to run out of mana. But for the general Miss Weaver rotation with teachings, especially after the damage buff, you don't spend that much mana. And I think no one plays this class, but I think this class isn't that far behind. Now, for a class that I think can compete with Holy Paladin, I think Resto Shaman also goes in the A tier. Resto Shaman actually does really, really good damage. I think the Kyrian Lego could be good. I also think if people are playing Venthyr um kirian resto shaman will do that de will definitely be like close to or as good as kirian h pal if healers end up not being able to be venthyr resto shaman is just good i think for safety wise for pugs resto shaman's probably better than paladin i'd be surprised if a, a pug under like a 22 would prefer to play with a paladin instead of a shaman i think shamans are really strong now let's look at the other healers holy priest i think holy priest is pretty solidly in b tier for almost identical reasons to miss weaver holy priest really good consistent healing pretty mana efficient you know it's got pi but its damage just isn't there right this is what separates these healers i think all four of these healers are great at healing i think that holy priest and miss weaver just do less damage than these two and so you won't see people bringing these to the highest keys even though healing wise they're still very strong this is a hard one the next two healers are hard i know i know both of these might surprise and disappoint people but until further notice i have to put wrestler druid in the b tier too i don't i don't think i can put it on the same level as h pal or shaman until until someone proves me otherwise until someone is doing big healing and putting out comparable damage with wrestler druid I don't, I don't know if I can put it on the A tier. It's close. If there was like an, an A, let's put it ahead of these two, right? I feel like Resto Druid is better than these two because Resto Druid brings some unique utility and I think it'll do more damage probably. Look, we definitely put Resto Druid ahead of these two, okay? This is the hardest one, I think, Dispriest. I don't really know about Dispriest. I think... I think I'd put Dispriest here as well, ahead of all four. I think if if I had a if I had a B.5 tier, I would put Dispriest and Druid, then Miss Weaver and Holy Priest. But I think they're all very, very close in power level. So I think we'd be doing we'd be doing 
the healers a disservice to spread them out a lot like i don't think either one of these healers will be s tier and i don't think either one of these healers will be c tier so i think this is the most fair we could do so let's talk about tanks tanks will we'll continue the copium theme i think tank balance is insanely good right now i think tank balance is some of the best it's been since i've ever played wow because i thought it was pretty good in the beginning of shadowlands and it basically only got better so let's talk about the two meta tanks right now bear i think we're, de we're we definitely have to put bear in the a tier bear is omega strong and it also brings a lot of good druid utility it's very tanky like its damage isn't bad bear is really strong Especially now that you can be a little bit more flexible with your pulls around Incarn. You know, you don't have, imagine your Incarn comes up, but then you have eight, you know, 5% count until Pride. You know, you couldn't do a big bear pull. You had to either hold Incarn or like use it. And then, you know, it was weird. But now you could just do a giant pull. I think bear is going to be really strong. And after the great push, no one really played bear in season one is the, is the issue because no one had bear ready because bear was bad all of BFA. But now that people know that bear is good there's going to be really good tanks going into season two with a bear ready and i think people are people like now or nerf or you know i saw dratnos in his video was was gearing his bear and doing dailies like people are going to come into the season with a bear ready but a lot of people are worried about vengeance they're saying the cardboard assassin nerves or if people don't play trees it's going to be bad but i think vengeance is going to be really really good still vengeance is going to be the highest single target damage tank uh especially if people continue running a lot of magic damage you know if the meta stays mage boomy or ellie shaman even vengeance is just really good damage i think bear is definitely the tankier option in the more flexible option vengeance is the more offensive option so if you look like if you do it like this right so h pal and vengeance are the most offensive options resto shaman and bear are the safer options but all of them are very very good and i wouldn't say like these two are risky or these two are you know low damage they're all sort of close together all right guys take a hit of the copium take a hit of the copium you ready prot warrior we're gonna put prot warrior in the a tier as well i think prot warrior is actually really strong prot warrior was close to being good last tier and i think it's gonna be really good i think people like andy and nerf are gonna have prot warriors ready i don't think they're again this is a tank that was not very good in beta and people thought it was gonna be bad and now that now that it's like it got some buffs over time it scales pretty well with gear i think people are gonna people are gonna be owning with prot warrior another co another copium tank to put in the a tier is brewmaster i'm actually putting four tanks in the a tier because i think tank balance is just that good i think brewmaster is also a really really good tank i think if we see the meta shift towards like physical damage dealers somehow let's say let's just say it's the year of the spear right let's say survival hunter is actually s tier having having a brewmaster to being able to buff their damage is going to be really good having it so i think i think all four of these tanks are good and i think if you're if you're like wondering what tank to play i think all four of these tanks are not just viable but like you will see them in high keys all right so th this is the tough one i think i need to put a tier of differentiation between these tanks i think I, I'm I'm kind of not sure whether I put these two in the in the C tier or the B tier. I don't know how I feel. The problem with these two tanks is they have definite weaknesses, right? Blood Decay's damage and threat is just bad. Like there's just not really a reason to bring Blood Decay in the highest keys. Like I think the chances of seeing a Blood Decay in the highest keys is just so low, right? I also think Prop Paladin is just less tanky than these other tanks. Like Prop Paladin can do more damage than these guys, right? Prop Paladin can do the can be the highest damage tank, but you just won't live with that build, right? You just won't live with the really high damage build. 
and then you can build tanky as a prop paladin but then whatever you want like if, if you build tanky then it's like why are you even playing prop paladin because you're not doing as much damage this is this would be like a c.5 for me this would be a c.5 for me i think these tanks aren't that bad and the other thing about tanks is that you can play around your strengths and weaknesses a lot better as a tank, right? Let's say you're playing a Ret Paladin, right? And you want to do pulls, like, in a specific way. It doesn't matter, right? You're literally just following the tank around. You're happy that you're invited to the key as a Ret Paladin, right? To think that the tank will pull around you or do something around you is, like, you don't even consider that, right? You're happy to just not be in Group Finder as a Ret Paladin. But as a tank, you can sort of say, like, okay, I'm weak right now. I'm not going to, like, let's not pull big. Or I have big cooldowns. Let's pull big, right? You can you can kite when you need to. You can st you know get in and be tanky when you need to. So that's why I think tiers matter less for tanks is because as a tank you can you can manipulate the dungeon around you right if you're a holy priest and like you know you're just fought, you're just along for the ride right if you're if you're a, a holy paladin well actually people probably will pull around you because you have bash and hollow but that's a bad example but you get what i'm saying right so don't don't feel bad if you want to play a prop pal or a blood dk okay so now let's look at dps let's i'm um, to be unbiased let's just go let's just go from here all the way through N not no jumping around so aflock i'm not really too sure about warlock is definitely the class i know the least i definitely can't put it in a tier so it's between b and c i think because warlock is always so op in raid i just don't see it a situation where it's that good in mythic plus i have to put it in the c tier i think aflock the the one good thing about aflock is that having good single target damage is going to be really valuable this season because people will actually care about tyrannical right ha being a good tyrannical class will actually matter this season because people are pushing tyrannical score so previously if you were a class that was like good on tyrannical that was just a meme right that was just a meme you know but now being good in tyrannical might actually mean something it's an aoe class i i mean yeah i guess it depends right i guess it depends how you build like you wouldn't be building you wouldn't be building omega aoe on a tyrannical week look i again right you don't play with too many warlocks all right look you got all right everyone says aflock goes in d tier all right i was gonna put it in the c tier but everyone in the chat says aflock sucks so it's going in the d tier if you're an aflock and you can't get invited you can see everyone's names in the chat that just put you there. Blame all these guys. All right, next, Arcane Mage. I think Arcane Mage... This is a hard one because there's not really very many, like, Arcane Mage specialists. Mage is just, like, a hero class. I think I'm going to put Arcane Mage in the B tier. It's it's tempting to put Arcane Mage in the C tier just because it's worse than Fire and Frost and Mythic Plus, but it's still a really good class, right? Like, if I was to compare Arcane Mage to Aflock, like, Arcane Mage is still way better than Aflock. So I think I have to put Arcane Mage in the B tier. Arms Warrior. Is Arms Warrior good? I've never seen an Arms Warrior. I think I'm tempted to put Arms Warrior in the question mark tier. Just because who even plays this class? I think I'm putting Arms Warrior in the question mark tier. I, I don't think anyone knows. I don't think anyone knows if Arms is good. I'm not put I don't want to put it in like C or D tier, because maybe it's good. I don't know, but I just don't play with it. Sin Rogue. Man, has anyone ever seen a Sin Rogue and a Pug do damage? I know Sin Rogue used to be good and it used to have situations where it's good at. Like, also, it's a rogue. I feel like. Yes. Okay, we, we like Sin Rogue. We like Sin Rogue. Here, here's the problem Sin Rogue is just worse than Outlaw and Sub, but it's a rogue. I think we're, we're putting it in the Arcane Mage tier. This is like the good class, bad spec tier.
for for these classes. These are hero classes, so they can't, they there's like a floor where they can't go lower than them. You know, you still bring you still bring good stuff as Sin Rogue, but it's not the best option. BM Hunter. I think we have to put BM Hunter in the C tier. The problem with BM Hunter is it just BM Hunter is a class that doesn't really bring anything. So unless you're doing insane amounts of damage, it's just not a good class, right? You don't it's just like it, it's also very squishy in the sense that you don't want any versatility on this class. It scales really really well with stats and you end up not wanting verse, therefore you just die to everything. Pets also suck. I don't really have too much to say about BM. I think I'm going to skip ahead. I lied about I'm going to put marks in c tier i think too i think i view both of these classes as like almost identical now there was a time when i would have put marks in b tier but i think both of these are in the situation where they're like okay like if you're really really good in these classes if you're really really good at these classes you can do well but like i just don't see anyone but very very high skilled of the, like one tricks of these classes being in the top keys like they have so much competition i think this isn't so much a statement about i think these classes are bad i think it's more that their competition for range dps in in pugs or in in top keys rather is like they just have way too much competition boomy here's the thing about boomy is boomy is always very hard to rank because there's there's the secret the secret dream grove council that meets every patch and they gaslight everybody else in azeroth every single patch and no one has any idea how good this class is ever at the beginning almost always all the boomies just say that their class is bad they just complain about how bad their class is all the time and then all of a sudden in this patch boomy just came into it being like nope yep venthyr's great venthyr's super good venthyr's gonna be great for mythic plus and i feel like i'm being gaslit i feel like boomy's gonna suck because you just can't trust these people but i'm gonna have to put it in the a tier i if if venthyr boomy is really an upgrade over night fey and it's doing good aoe and on top of that, you have the Boomy utility. I'm going to put it in the A tier, I think. But we'll see. We'll see. It's possible that this guy goes in the D tier and we were fooled all along. But I'm going to... I'm going to... The Boomy say that they're going to be good. So I'm going to trust them. Demo lock. I don't know this one. Does, any, does anyone have a reason for me to not put it in the 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 question mark tier is there any is what reason is there to bring a demo lock does it just go in the d tier c d I, the chat the chat hates warlocks if i learn one thing about you guys is you guys hate warlocks you guys want it in the d tier you guys want it in the d tier What about Destro? I feel like I can't even put it higher than C. I feel like Destro is definitely the best spec for keys right now, but it's still not even that good. Everyone's saying Destro is Pog. That's uh, people like B. Okay, look. I'm going to put it I'm going to put it in the C tier. When there's a bunch of Destro locks running around in top keys, you can come back to me and and make fun of me but i just don't see a world where people are playing destro locks in in high keys i think there's gonna be like one or maybe two like insane like warlock specialists that play high keys but i just don't think i don't think we're gonna see them in high keys again i think classes down here it might seem bad that you're in here but you can absolutely go into keys and crank right i'm specifically talking about what classes we're going to see in the top keys 
Feral Druid. Did Feral Druid get buffed at all? Did anything happen to Feral Druid? I thought I, I don't think I've seen a single cat the entire expansion besides Hippo, and it didn't even get a single change. Like nothing even happened to this class. Is this just like the black sheep of WoW, where it just it just is always like? Here's the thing about Feral Druid is Feral Druid has some good utility, right? Feral Druid isn't really like a hunter or, you know, like a warrior where it, it, it just needs to do damage and it's useless. Feral Druid actually has some good utility and if it did good damage, it could easily move up, but it just doesn't. LOL, he said Hunter has no utility. Doesn't he know about Binding Shot and Freezing Trap? The cornerstones of Mythic Plus? Relax, guy in the chat. Every class has utility. I'm not saying classes don't have utility. I'm saying relative to everything else and relative to speeding up the dungeons. All right. Ellie Shaman. I think Ellie Shaman is going to crank. I think Ellie Shaman is going to crank next year. I'm going to put Ellie Shaman in the A tier. I think Ellie Shaman may be the best range DPS in, in the patch. I think Ellie Shaman was close behind Boomy. Like, we'll even put it ahead of Boomy. I don't think it's going to be S tier. I don't think every single group is going to need an Ellie Shaman. But I think they're going to be the best range DPS. I think you're going to be able to do high keys without Ellie Shaman. But I think that Ellie Shaman is going to be very, very good. Look, I might be look. Any of these classes, I think it's possible we could see them in the in the S tier, but I I, I just don't see one for sure that I'm confident saying it's going to be in the S tier. Which healer is best for nine one guy in the chat? There's a tier list of all the classes right here. It's right on the screen, and you've just been spamming the chat for the last five minutes, adding me, saying, what's the best healer? Do, are we looking at the same screen right now? Guy in the chat, come on. Get it together. Get it together. All right. Mage specs. Look. Look. Mage is another one where you really can't trust these guys. But the upside to Mage is that Mage is a hero class, so it'll almost always be good. I think I'm going to put... This might be a little weird. This might be a little weird. I'm going to put... Frost and Fire in the A tier. I actually don't know... I actually don't know what spec is going to be used in high keys. Everyone is saying fire is dead and that it's only going to be frost. But playing with some fire mages on PTR. I think I think fire is still going to be pretty dang good. We'll see, though. We'll see. I'm, I'm not confident. I'm not confident. I definitely think that fire single target is bad. And he here's an issue, right? Here's an issue. We have fire mage whose single target is, is nerfed. We also have boomy, which single target is nerfed losing convoke, right? So this is all these range DPS don't have that great of single target. They're still fine, right? I guess frost single target is pretty good. But like none of these are like really single target specialists. So I think that gives room for a lot of these other classes to be good, right? So I think it's actually possible that even though there's all these classes in the A tier, you may only want two of them and you may want something else that's good at single target. Okay, Frost DK. I don't really know what to say about Frost DK, man. I think we just put it in the C tier. I don't think Frost DK is bad. It's just not really good. I think it's not one of the best melee, melee specs. I think we'll see, like, 
one or two like Omega good frost players. I don't think we're going to I don't think we're going to see many many DKs and high keys. I think I'm going to put unholy here too. I think unholy could even be higher maybe, but I don't know. I just don't really see I just don't really see people I just don't really see people bringing DKs to high keys. I just don't I just don't really see people. I think unholy right now is definitely better than frost, but I think that I just don't see any of these classes being brought to high keys. I think there are better ranged options, there are better melee options. All right. Fury Warrior. If you guys if you guys were molding at the last placement, you guys might mold at this placement. I think I'm actually putting Fury Warrior in the B tier. I think Fury Warrior actually cranks. I think Fury does insane damage, especially considering that we have so many just like blast AoE classes right now in the game with Ellie Shaman, Boomy, Mages. I feel like Fury will actually do so much damage. We did a key yesterday. We did a key yesterday where a Frosty K or a, a Fury Warrior was doing the same damage that, that Billy was doing in a Halls. We just had like a guy, I don't want to call him random because he was definitely a good player, but he just did 10k overall DPS in a halls. Like he was beating Junkrat or whoever was our melee DPS as a Fury Warrior. Like I think Fury Warrior does so much damage. However, I don't think we'll see Fury Warrior in the A tier. However, they just, they just don't really have that great of utility. They're also a melee. So I don't think we're going to see a situation where every single team has a has a fury warrior random i see how it is was it was you themselves yeah I, I like sort of remember i knew it was somebody but it was like it wasn't somebody who's like oh this is a famous fury warrior guy right that's more what i meant i didn't i said not random he, he was just a normal civilian you know all right havoc demon hunter Havoc Demon Hunter, I think, also goes in the B tier. I think Havoc is back. I don't know if I believe it. I don't know if I believe it, but it's definitely a lot better than it was. The other thing about Demon Hunter that's nice is that there's a lot of really, really good Havoc Demon Hunter players that are just in hiding, you know? Whereas, like, let's say, let's say DK was really good, right? There's a few DKs, but I don't know how many DKs. But as soon as... Like, as soon as the season starts, there's going to be, like, 20 really good Havoc players, you know, trying really hard to do big damn. And they were already doing decent damn last patch. I think Havoc... I don't know if Havoc is back, but I think this is an option. Outlaw Rogue. Hmm. Let's, let's skip Rogue for now shadow priest i don't know how i feel about i don't know how i feel about shadow priest i feel like i would put it like c.5 c.5 maybe maybe we'll put it in b just because of tyrannical we'll put it in b because of tyrannical this is definitely a season where you're gonna want to be nice to your shadow priest friends because having a shadow priest on tyrannical especially with the affixes that give you that give you a bunch of haste i think shadow priest is going to be cranking in keys however in a fort week are you really going to want one i don't know i mean shadow priest giving pi to the mage i don't know this is this is a hard slot this is a hard slot but i think the great push and previous stuff proved that shadow priest can still be pretty good shadow priest can be pretty good and i think they're probably gonna get stronger because of the the tyrannical changes hmm these last ones are hard do you guys think that it's mandatory to have a rogue is it mandatory to have a rogue in every single key in Great Push, we proved that you don't need a rogue in every key, but every group, it felt like, has a rogue. I don't know. This is a hard one. Look. Another hit of Copium. 
Another hit, all right? We're putting we're putting both of these rogue specs in the A tier. Rogue is an S tier. Copium. Don't need a rogue to do mythic plus. You don't need a rogue to do mythic plus. I think depending on the dungeon It's you very much like to have rogue, but in in the last season you didn't have rogue in every single key. Also, now pride is gone, right? So I think rogue will be even less important. You won't need those like shrouds and saps and like sneak by stuff, right? It's definitely good. It's definitely good. Look, A tier. Look, we'll even put it. We'll put it at the top of A tier for you guys for for all the titles in the chat. Look. This one's for titles right here, right? We'll put HPAL Rogue at the top of A tier, and we'll put Boomy at the bottom of A tier. Like we'll put it un at the bottom of A tier right here. Buff Moonkin. I think Rogue is always Rogue is a hero class in Mythic Plus for sure. Look, you guys are wondering why I'm putting Sub here. I'm trusting JPC the man. All right. JPC says sub is going to rinse everybody and sub is secretly OP and I'm going to trust him. The man said this is the spec. What about JR? JR doesn't talk. All right. Last we have Windwalker. This is one where look we'll, we'll just keep up the copium we'll just keep up the copium we'll keep we'll keep windwalker in the a tier right here next to boomy windwalker does crazy good damage windwalker definitely does crazy good damage i feel like there won't be that many like pure windwalker mains just because you want rogue right like realistically here's the thing about high key groups is you have the same five people for every single dungeon and generally rogue is better for dungeons than windwalker is it's more flexible and so all of the high key groups have rogues instead of windwalkers right but that being said i feel like at least two or three of the dungeons you would rather have a windwalker instead of a rogue right like spires for example that's a dungeon where having a windwalker is so good so to say that like you know, you'll probably see three times or more as many rogues as you see Windwalkers, but I don't think that means rogue is that much better than Windwalker, right? It's more just about the the group comps, the the way that it works for group comps. So here's our tier list: the cope, the official copium tier list. There's no S tier. No classes will be required. Maybe at the very, very end when people are min-maxing. But I think we'll see a mix of multiple healers, multiple tanks, multiple range DPS, and multiple melee DPS in the, in the top keys. I also think there's a lot of classes that don't have a lot of representation that will be really, really strong. I think all of the B tier right here are classes that are not that much worse than the A tier. But... I think, you know, they'll see, you'll see 10% as many of these as you see of these, even though these classes are maybe only 3% worse. All right, well, if this goes on YouTube, you know, remember, remember to like the video and favorite it so that in three months when it's year of the spear and everyone's playing survival hunter and I've deleted my shaman and you can't play a key without a rogue, you can come back and leave an angry comment. Here we go. The guy in the chat is going to get flamed on YouTube. Yeah, probably. YouTube is ruthless, dude. YouTube is ruthless. I, my most recent video, or maybe it's not my most recent one. Okay, hold on. We got to do a thumbnail. Let's do a thumbnail. Let's move all the, all the S tier up here. Let's put demo. Let's put H pal in the B tier. Um, blood decay. What's all the popular classes? BM hunter. We'll put it up here. 
Um. Okay, here, here's our thumbnail shot. Feral, A tier. Okay, good. 